new things popping. New things popping, all right? So we did had a Patreon meetup, and we're going to get into the show right after this. Well, we into the show. Uh, but I want to just give my thoughts on this. Uh, brothers, brothers, right? Uh, every time I go to a city, and it don't even necessarily have to be Dallas or Fort Worth, Texas, or anything like that. Every time I, I we pop up, I'm getting to the point where I'm almost, me and Charleston talk almost every day. Salute, salute to Dewberry. You was there. Uh, we know each other's families. We've been to each other's houses. I've been to his mother's house. Um, his brother, shout out to Kay White. His sister, I love you, sis. Uh, we talk to each other regularly. And, you know, I'm on the plane, and I had texted him before I jumped on the plane. And I'm on the plane, and he called me. He said, yo, what's up, Tuan? I said, what's happening, bro? He said, what you got up for tonight? I said, we working. He said, all right, be there. Send me the address. And that's it. We don't spend a whole lot of time talking on the phone. We check them on each other. We rock out with each other. And then we catch that Addy and we go to working. We get to working. We don't talk about money. We don't talk about nothing. The only time that we really talk about money is if we're trying to figure out how to, how to mine this thing out from a business perspective. Right? How can I pour into you? How can you pour into me? And we just got this dope thing that it just it just can't be broken. And so as you can see in this picture right here, he also pulled up to the meetup, right? Um, we worked all that night, so I'm gonna be releasing that. Um I'm gonna be releasing that and for the Patreon, the exclusive for the Patreon, everything that we recorded the night before. Uh, because we shot some dope content that night. And then the next day, he was like, hey, man, where's your meetup at? And I was like, oh, we're going to be over here or whatever. He was like, bet, I'm pulling up. I'm like, okay, cool. And so, you know, he came in and he kicked it with the people. He took pictures. He showed love. He sat, you know, he was there for a long time and we kicking it and everything like that. So um, we talked this morning. We talked yesterday. And this is my guy, man, him, Dewberry. Uh, and you never know. You just never know. Who it is that you're going to rock out with that that shows love and, and adds value into your life in ways that's beyond the money. That's beyond the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to run into some people that they only there for the money. And then you're going to run into some people that's there to add value when the money comes with it. And it's a difference. And this is the thing that people don't understand. They think that it's a 100% business. Trucker Yell says, what y'all meet up in Dallas? Damn, somebody could have hit me up. Man, I talk about it every, every morning. You be on Fight Club. You call it every single morning. Trucker, what are you talking about? I say every morning, listen, we got to meet up in Dallas. Check the Patreon. Check the Patreon. Check the Patreon. But Trucker Yell apparently believes that he's special, ladies and gentlemen. He believes that we're supposed to reach out to him individually and make sure that Trucker Yale gets a special invite above everybody else in order to make sure that he's supposed to be there. Should we hold Trucker Yale accountable and bring him to the front of the congregation? No? Okay. Let me, let me, let me continue to cook. Let me continue to cook. But brothers right and let me tell you the difference between brothers that do because it's a lot of people that also says they also say that you can't do business with family now if anybody was there at the patreon if anybody was there at the patreon and i'm gonna be reading super chat shortly uh and some of y'all probably even recorded what it was that i said to y'all and all of that other type of stuff right but if anybody was there you know who i consider my family my family is not the people that I was born with. My family is not my blood, even though there's some people that are blood uh, that rock with me. My, but my family is not the people that. It's not black people. It's not my bloodline. It's not the people that share the same last name as me. It's people that's going in the same direction that I'm going. Shout out to Jamal. Jamal was there also. My dog It's people that's going in the same direction that I'm going in. The reason why my voice sounds like it sounds is because I spent every single moment from the time that I walked into the door 
to the time that me, Rita, and Q went and jumped into the, into the truck and headed back to the crib, I spent every single waking moment, Rita spent every single waking moment, Q, every waking moment that we walked through the door showing love and enjoy. And it, it ain't even work. It's like, I love my people. I love my people. I adore my people. And you can do business with family. As a matter of fact, I prefer to do business with family. My contractor called me from the crib and he said, uh, he called me about the house that I'm the, that I'm building. And he said, Anton, this is how much it's going to cost for us to do uh, the tree cut down and removal and grade and everything and having it done. And it was, it was a pretty decent amount. It was like, um five figures it was definitely in the five figures it was in the five figures and you know what i did he said and this is the guy that i'm recommending and it's a little bit more expensive but this is the guy that i'm recommending and you know what i did i called rita hold on hold on i'll tell you exactly what i did You know me, I'm all about the receipts. Hello? Hey, you busy? Uh, just driving. When, when, the con when my uh, architect and general contractor called me and he told us what the, uh, he told me what the, the tree removal and all of the demolition services and everything like that is, what was the first thing that we did? contacted the person i don't know if he's in a patreon or not but somebody who reached out to us all right thank you as soon as he said it he named the number i said all right is that what it's gonna cost us to actually get it done and it was a lot of money uh, he said yeah i said all right cool i reached out to somebody that i thought was a bag chaser and i said hey listen fam you contacted me and said that you wanted to do this work he said, yeah, and that is Chris J in the background, and that's Quentin over here in the pink shirt right here, too. That's Quentin. And he said, yeah, I said, listen, if you want the job, if you want the contract, and I don't be looking for no discounts, I don't looking for none of that, right? I said, if you want the job or you want, you know, you want it, it's yours to turn down. It's yours to turn down. If you want the job, because I prefer to give the contracts and the work and the money and the opportunities to the people that I consider family, the bag chasers. It's his to turn down. Now, if he's not available, then we move on and we go with the guy that my contractor recommended in the first place. But the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to call my people and I don't ask for I don't ask for discounts. I don't ask to get, you know, give me the hookup or if you want this. And I don't do none of that. I pay full price. I pay full price. And so the first thing that I do is I always tap in with the people in order to make sure that my people can bust down the bag first. My people bust down the bag first. I don't put money into the pockets of anybody else until I find out that there's not nobody else available for me to be able to send that money to. You can do business with family because family is the people. See, the problem is, the problem is that you can't do business with the people that you identify as family because the things that you, you identify as family is bloodline, color, all of that other type of stuff. It's stuff that don't really apply to real life. It's stuff that's not actually relevant to what it is that you're supposed to be doing or really being on your grind and being in your purpose. But when you start to align yourself with groups of people that's going in the direction that you're going in, then you can start doing business with family because we all have each other's best interests at heart. This is why me and Charleston kick it on a regular basis and we have each other's best interests, but then at the same time, we always looking to add value into each other. That's business. We don't really separate the business from the personal because it is my business to ensure that you are successful 
and that you eat or it's his business to ensure that I'm successful and that I eat and that I'm just as successful also. That's what family do. They look out for each other and that's why we bag chasers. We really bag catchers, but bag chasers just got a different ring to it and so we just gonna continue to work with that for a second. But the reality is that he don't, he don't ask me for nothing. He said, where you at? Let's pull up. And then when he called me and he might be like, yo, Anton, we got this lady over in the community and she trying to serve these kids and she ain't got the funding that she need. Uh, what we going to do for her? And I'd be like, well, you just name me a number and then I'm going to go ahead and wire it over to you. And that's going to be the end of that conversation. That's what we do. We run the checkup with each other. We get money with each other. We pour into each other. We make sure that each other is taken care of. And that's what family is. So if you looking to rock out with a group of people that's going in the direction that you're going in and they not misusing you because it's okay to use each other. And I actually got this from Charleston. He said this and it always stuck with me. He said, listen, it's okay for us to use each other. It ain't okay if we misuse each other. And that's what your family is doing because they don't really have your best interest at heart. He said, Anton, it's okay for people to use each other. It's not okay for people to misuse each other. It's not okay for us to misuse each other. That's the difference. So when you see people that you want to add value into first, and then y'all bust down the bag together, it's different because y'all got each other's best interest at heart. So uh, if you decide that you want to rock out with us, if you want to tap into the next meetup, I'm actually going to be announcing that soon, very, very soon. I'm announcing the next meetup very, very soon in the location because it, when it get warm outside, you know, we got to hit the streets, right? We taking flights. We got to kick it with each other. We got to continue to add value into each other uh, and we got to rock out. So uh, I got a couple different cities that I'm trying to figure out. Through. I got I narrowed it down to two cities. I actually might drop inside of the Patreon. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to drop a, a, a poll today inside of the Patreon. I'm going to put the poll inside of the Patreon for y'all to actually determine what our next our next city is between one or two cities. All right. Uh, so that link is going to be in the in the description to the Patreon as well as pinned to the top of the chat.